What happened to all the oak trees in Northeast Connecticut? The short answer is gypsy moth infestation paired with drought. Gypsy moths are a non-native species that's been in North America since 1868. Though it's referred to by its adult stage, a moth, it's actually the larval or caterpillar stage that feeds on the foliage of our favorite trees. Their population is usually kept in check by a fungus. However, periodically, when conditions are right, population outbreaks will occur, leaving trees defoliated and stressed, primarily our beloved white oaks, beech, and aspen trees. The fungus needs rain in order to be activated in the spring. In 2015 and 2016, Connecticut experienced a multiple-year drought. Since the fungus was not keeping the moths in check, the population slowly grew to outbreak status. By 2017 and 2018, many of the trees in northeastern Connecticut were hit multiple years in a row by severe gypsy moth populations. One year of defoliation is not necessarily a big deal. However, multiple years in a row is where we begin to see problems. Between this and years of drought, many of our mature oaks were severely stressed. During this time, we saw countless roads and neighborhoods lined with dead trees. Some of the oaks were strong enough to recover, either partially or fully, while others continued to decline or were hit with secondary pests such as two-line chestnut borer or amarilla fungus, known as honey mushrooms. The oak we're trimming here has been hanging tough, though. After the outbreak passed, we had the opportunity to assess this tree. While a significant portion of this tree experienced dieback, there's still a vast amount of life left in the crown. This oak is a major part of the landscape, and the homeowner wants to do everything we can to keep it going. Our strategy is one of patience and intentional pruning. This is our second round of deadwood pruning on this tree. Our aim is to keep as much of the branching structure as possible while carefully removing any dead material. Each limb is assessed for vitality prior to removal. Stay tuned, we're so excited to see how this magnificent tree leafs out in the spring.